Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're down in Melbourne, Florida, working on a house, working on the foundation. They're going to need a footer tile and a sump pump, and I'll show you why. Let's take a look back here. These are projects that homeowners could do themselves, and um, this one, pretty typical problem here in the state of Florida of how construction of these block homes are built. You can see they've got a stucco wall. And if you look carefully, you'll see this stress crack. You can see it coming through right here. And that's following the block coming down all the way down to the slab, which sits right there. If you look over here in the corner, basically what you're gonna see is here's the slab of the house. This is the floor. And you can see that there really isn't any footer under here. There is on this side, we've got footer back here, and you can see it down here, but in this corner, there's no footer. And what we've got to do is put in the footer tile, which is going to run right along that perimeter of the wall. It's going to come over to a sump pit, pump's going to lift it up, pump it out back. Gravel perforated pipe, and because there's no footer here, we're going to pack a lot of gravel underneath of this area. <clears throat> the footer pipe is going to be right at this level right here, not very deep, but it's enough that as groundwater rises, it enters your system and it's carried over to the pump and pit and it's carried away. Problem here is that water has been coming in under the slab and coming up in these bedrooms here and on the back. Wall. Okay, so here at the in Melbourne, Florida, you can see there's a lot of things going on here. Um, one is that they've got this bed that they've raised and even though there's stucco and brick back there Water is going to get through this area and into the walls of the house. It's just a matter of time Remember soil here in sandy soils drains away very quickly But you never want to be above the slab which these two areas are right here Florida homes have specific problems Remember here, thunderstorms are severe. Water comes down two, three inches in you know, an hour or so. Downspout drains, which you know, from the gutters, they really need to be put out underground and taken away from the house. Depending on construction, that groundwater will rise up and enter through the floor at the wall. So when digging out a footer along a floor of the house, it's best to use a small trenching shovel if possible. And you can see Chuck using that. It just makes a perfect trench, it's six inches wide. Sometimes you gotta take out some of that mortar, extra mortar that's down in there, but pretty simple to do. And you wanna be just right at the footer, a little bit below the top of the footer. And that's where we're gonna be. So pretty shallow here, but it's gonna work great. So we've got our footer dug. Next we need to set up the sump pump in the pit. Basically, you've seen me do this hundreds of times. We're gonna perforate the pit. We use a, a half inch drill bit and we drill holes all around the sides of the pit so that water can easily enter to the pit. Here in Florida, we're gonna surround that with gravel and we're also going to put the geofabric around the sump liner itself so that sand cannot get in there. The gravel will be fine help the water get through. We're going to drill holes into the bottom because we don't want the pit to float up. And we're going to cut off the nipples on the side of the sump liner so that we can attach our footer pipe directly into the sump pit. A real good project for the homeowner. This is not a deep excavation and something that you can easily do yourself. It's nice if you have a helper, but you can easily do it. When you cut your side, helps to keep a piece of pipe out here to keep it a straight line and then all you're going to do is just cut through the side both sides kick it down lift it up a little bit come back and cut it off once you cut both sides cut off about a foot foot and a half and slide underneath of it and it should be able to lift right out of there. Take care of your side because you want to put it back nicely. 
from the sump pump we're going to install the discharge which is inch and a half pvc and you can see we're well below the grade here remember this is florida so it's not going to freeze it goes all the way out it's going to discharge to a pop-up right there in the corner and basically basically all we're going to do is just set our sod right back over the top it's really simple Installing the sump pump discharge line is done by drilling a hole through the side of the pit. It's a two inch drill bit. We set the pump down inside the pit. And we're gonna make some measurements to plumb this you know, out through the side of the pit. One inch and a half 90, which is going to connect to the discharge line. We're gonna make a measurement from the sump pump to that 90. We'll cut that off. Good hacksaw makes this really quick. Cutting PVC is easy, but it does wear you out if you don't have a good saw. Put some glue and primer on to your pieces of pipe. Let it set up for just a second. Remember, this stuff sets up really quick, so you want to put it together and push it down into the fitting that you're using. We've got a good measurement. Stick this down into the sump pump. There's a fitting down there. I'm going to make a dry measurement just to make sure that you know we're right there where we want to be. And you can see it's a perfect fit. Let's go ahead and glue those things together. Remember to use your primer, your glue. Once you put this together, it, it, it welds. It's a solid pipe. So make sure you get a really good measurement before you actually glue things together. And that's it. Now we're going to go ahead and put some gravel down into the footer to our trench that we dug. And you can see we're using the geofabric here in Florida because there's so much sand here that we don't want that to filter into the gravel. So a good base of gravel underneath of your uh, pipe Lay your pipe and pour that gravel as much as you can get into your trench. Always line your sump pit. If you're using a sump pit, you, if you have gravity where you can run this downhill from the area, great. But most homes in Florida, the lots are pretty flat. So line your sump pit with the geofabric so that no sand can get down into it. Then you can just pour your gravel all around that area after you put your lid back on. It takes a little bit of work because remember that it's, it's down in the ground, it's two feet deep. So just adjust it, let it drape over the top and put your lid back on it. That'll hold it tightly in place. Continue filling your trench. Remember that you've got your fabric down there. You want to make sure that you fold it over nice and tight. We're using gravel by the bag, something the homeowner can easily do. If you've got a truck, you could even put it in your trunk. But, you know, a truck or a trailer makes it a little bit easier. Open up that fabric, pour the gravel into the fabric and cover that pipe. Remember, holes point down because water rises up into your system. Now we're just going to go ahead and backfill, do a little bit of cleaning. You can grade it out really easily. We, we actually put some of this excess soil into low spots in your yard and just grade it out. If you've got St. Augustine grass, it's going to thatch right up through it. It'll just grow right through it. First rain, it'll disappear. Remember the care you took to cut your sod off. Now it's really simple. We'll just set the sod right back into the trench. You can use a rake to push some of that soil in there, or you can just use your hand, either one. Set your sod back in place, and it'll look really good when you're done. Raking soil in St. Augustine grass is a little different. If you, no if you notice, I actually pull small strokes and lift my rake. And what it does is it pulls the dirt up into the air and moves it two or three inches at a time. Here at the pop-up, a little bit of care, a little bit of sod around the sides, and you're done. 
This is an area where we poured some of the excess soil. Turn your rake upside down, just pull it around. Remember, as soon as it rains, any small areas of dirt are going to disappear quickly. Um, but you've got a low spot where water sits, put your excess soil there. Real simple. Lastly, we go ahead and clean up, pick up our tools, any excess debris or trash, take it away. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.